Greetings ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a brand new series on FIFA 14. This will be the first and last series I've done on FIFA 14 due to FIFA 15 coming out in September. I thought I'd finish up FIFA 14 with a brand new series, my first series of Karima. So guys, what I've actually gone and done is I've moved the players who've actually joined Real Madrid this season to Real Madrid in the game. So I've actually gone and got Kilo Navas who joined for 7 million from Levante, Tony Cruz joined for Bayern for 24 million, and the big one, Hamas Rodriguez, who joined for 71 million. So guys, the first thing we did is we hopped over to the squad report to see what I had to work with within the squad. And straight away, I sorted it to see what positions we had less of or what we needed more of. It's the same thing, basically. But straight away, I saw that we was sort of for keepers, but right back was where we had a weak position. Yes, we have Carver Howe, he's very good. But we have also have Harbelow, who's not a very good backup right back. So we, might, we had to invest some money into a new right back very soon. So after doing that, we hopped straight onto the sell players list to see what players that I needed to sell or weren't going to fit into my team or I didn't think were good enough for the Real Madrid squad. So I was looking far below her here, as you can see I struggled to find him until I found him and I put him straight up for sale because that is what we needed to do. Also, I've probably come a big shock to the lot of you, I went and put Di Maria up for sale and I'll explain why. We have Gareth Bale and I don't think he would fit into the team very well. So I went ahead and put him straight up for sale for the fact that he would not get into our team very often. So not long after putting Angel Dima up for sale, we straight away got a transfer from Chelsea and the transfer was 24 million. I thought we could get a lot more for Dima, so I bumped it up to 35 million and knowing that Dima is definitely worth 35 million. So after thinking for a while of a replacement for Arbeloa at right back, I thought of the man Debushi. He is a very good right back in this game and not being too old and not being too young he wouldn't expect a lot of playing time at Real Madrid so I thought he'd be a very very good replacement for Arbeloa. We also got a transfer offer for Sergio Ramos but he will be going nowhere. Then not too later Newcastle got back to us about Debushi telling us that a player was too valuable to them so we weren't getting Debushi. But Chelsea got back to us and they decided to go ahead the 35 million counter offer I put in for Angel Di Maria. So after receiving an email from Newcastle telling us that Debushi is too valuable to them and they will not be selling him to any club, we were still on the look for a right back and I definitely thought of Giorgio van der Veel from PSG. He's a young, talented right back and why we needed him because he could be a good backup and if we needed him to start in a match, I know I could rely on him to play well. Actually, after advancing one day, PSG got back to us and yeah, 5 million is perfect for Giorgio van der Veel. Just in his contract, after him 40 grand, 15 bonus and 5 years without a squad role, hoping that he would think that's enough. So, after waiting for quite a while, we finally got a transfer for Arbeloa, worth 1,800,000 from Everton, and I was happy for him to go to that. He was never, ever getting played here at any circumstances. But in even bigger news, Chelsea had bought Angel Di Maria, and I got 29 million worth of the 35 million Angel Di Maria went for. So, after selling Di Maria, I automatically went and inquired for Shakira, as you can see here, but I didn't put the footage in, I'm really sorry, but they asked for 20 million, so I thought hmm, maybe I could go a bit lower, so I went to 17 million, hoping that Bayern Munich would reason with me. So then we had some really good news that Bayern Munich had cooperated with us, and they had accepted the 17 million bid, all we had to do was give him the contract he wanted, which was 70 grand, which I happily gave him, knowing that Shakira is a good player. So Shakiri accepted his contract and all we had to do was accept him into our club and that would make a really good backup right back for Gareth Bale. So then we had our first friendly against Hamburg and it was at home. This was a good opportunity to test players out that I might bring on in the future or bring as subs. So being at home, you can go without a lot of venturous formation. So I went out with a 3-5-1-1 to try to get a lot of goals in this match. So the team I put out to face Hamburg was Diego Lopez in goal. Nacho Fernandez, Pepe and Varane as my three centre-backs. Il Ramadi at right defensive mid. At left defensive mid we had Sami Kadira, Shakiri at right mid. Xavi Alonso down the centre controlling that midfield. Left mid was the big boy Gareth Bale expecting a lot from him. Isco at centre forward and he Jesse Rodriguez at strike. Just showing you guys we're on world class I'm not that good sorry. So within the first two minutes we had a great opportunity. Gareth Bale cuts in. And he sets up Rodriguez to hit it and he smashes it against the post. Great opportunity for us to take the lead. But then not too long after that, Hamburg were on the ball with a great chance. Poor defending from me. Look at me lunging it and he slots in a ball and it's a fantastic save from Diego Lopez. What a chance for Hamburg but we luckily survived. So in the 18th minute, Gareth Bell picks up the ball on the wing. Great cut in. He goes around one player. 
Then he takes it round another and he smashes it front post with his left foot. Fantastic finish from Gareth Bale. Keeper at his front post, maybe should have done a bit better, but it's a fantastic finish from Gareth. Hamburg had a glorious opportunity with a fantastic ball into the back post. Free header and he puts it wide. Should be putting that away, but we are getting off really lucky. Then in the 42nd minute, we're knocking around on the edge of the box to Ilrani Dent to Shavalonzo, who slots in a lovely ball to Shakiri. Shakiri smashes it home. Fantastic finish from Shakiri for his debut goal for Real Madrid. It was a fantastic finish. The pass made it even better. Xavi Alonso definitely threading them passes. So we entered half time with a 2 0 lead over Hamburg. So I went to make a change, and the change that I made was Xavi Alonso was getting a bit tired, so I brought him off and I brought on Tony Cruz. Expecting a lot from him this season, and in this second half, he produced it. Not too long after the second whistle blew, they put a fantastic ball through to Zur to put him through on goal. Poor challenge for Varane, but Nacho Fernandez with a last minute challenge to stop him from scoring. And in the 52nd minute, Van der Vaart put a fantastic pass into him. Great cross, a fantastic save though. Maybe he should have headed it down to one of the corners, but it was still a brilliant save. So then that led to a corner, which was a very poor corner. I headed it away, first time strike, brilliant save from Diego Lopez, which sadly led to another corner, it was a fantastic save. But this time, it was a better ball in, a really good ball and a fantastic header into the bottom left-hand corner of Diego Lopez. There was no chance he was getting that great goal. So after conceding that goal, which made it 2-1 to us, we had to score another to ensure a victory. Great bit of skill from Gareth Bell. Slots a great ball to Sammy Kadira, who cuts back in. He's looking at Gareth Bell to slot a pass into him, but doesn't. And then it's a big clearance, and there is so much room for him to run into, and he does. And then he takes him round one, passes it to Van der Vaart, Van der Vaart's now going to sprint down the wing, makes another fantastic pass, and now it's a great chance to cross it, great block from Varane, another chance to cross it, puts a fantastic ball in, and Van der Vaart headers it into the far corner again, where Diego Lopez has no chance. After conceding that goal, we were on the back foot, and it was a great chance for Van der Vaart to put it away, but it's a great save from Diego Lopez. Bit of a pass back, but you know FIFA. After having none of the ball, we finally have the ball in a great position to attack. Kadira slots in a brilliant ball to Shakiri. Shakiri delivers the ball into the box to Tony Cruz for a tap-in header, and he gets his debut goal for Real Madrid as well. Brilliant bit of play. What a fantastic ball from Kadira, though. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is how the game ends. It aims 3-2 to us. Fantastic match. Brilliant start for me. What we can take from the match is we need to improve on our defending. But ladies and gentlemen, this has been episode one of Real Madrid Career Mode. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like and subscribe would be even better and leave some suggested comments. And I'll see you next time, guys.